Thanks for joining us on this Facebook Live, which is sponsored by Alonco, the provider of our preventatives for all of our dogs. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. But first, we've got a handsome little guy here that I want to show you guys. And Dr. Smith is going to join us. And you're going to do an evaluation on this particular pup. Yes. And why, what's the stage we're at? Where, what are we looking for? So this physical is called a pre-class physical exam. Okay. Um, it basically means that the working team that this dog is paired with, whether that's a guide dog or a service team, is at a stage in training where this dog may be eligible for class. So okay. he may be well trained enough in the skills he needs to learn to actually perform his work. At this point, it's the veterinarian's opportunity to speak with the instructor and talk about anything we see on a physical exam, anything we see in the dog's history. Okay. That could be a red flag, could be concerning, could preclude them from an opportunity to go to class. Okay, so this dog did the whole puppy raising thing, mm -hmm. came back and has been in training with our trainers, yes. and now we're seeing if it's ready to be matched. Right, so oh, the instructors okay. determine if a dog can go to class. At okay. this point, there are several candidates in a group and our job as the vet team is just to make sure that physically I would give the stamp of approval that okay. health wise this dog could be considered for class. Okay well let's take a look. All right. Marissa's got the pup with us. Marissa what's this dog's this name? This is Gabe. Gabe is a handsome, handsome black lab. Mm -hmm. Is he a lab full lab or lab? Yes. Okay. Yes. Full lab. That's a good boy. Yes we have cookies oh. for the table. <laughs> All right is it okay to raise Gabe up? Yes. Okay. Get ready. Yeah, Hi, nice. going up, Gabe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And Good over boy. here we have Emily. Hello, She's Emily. She's my vet tech. <laughs> Emily is going to help me take notes, and she also plays an important role. She's going to help me search through Gabe's medical history and just let me know about anything she might see. Say he was recently reported vomiting or he okay. had recent diarrhea, things I might need to know okay. as I perform his physical. Okay. And she also is going to help me keep tabs of any vaccines or things he might be due for that I should update at this All point. All right. Okay? He's a right. boy. Here. Okay. Yes. Gabe, you want to stand up? Yeah, stand. Right. Good. Oh, Almost. For the cookies. Oh. Stand. <laughs> Good boy. Good job, Gabe. All the way. Okay. There you All right. Go. So starting at his beautiful, handsome face. It is a handsome face. He is. He's a very pretty guy. So I'm just looking him over. Eyes look nice and clear. I don't see any discharge. He looks happy. He looks healthy overall. It's also a good time to go ahead and check out their teeth. So I like to oh, lift yeah. up their lip, make sure that everything looks nice and clean. Um, if they do have dirty teeth uh -huh. or any fractured teeth, we clean them before they go to class. That's really important because then we're able to set the student handler up with success for okay. things like tooth brushing and get them just started off on a good slate. Okay. And his teeth look excellent. Hi, Gabe. Okay. <laughs> All right, next we're going to look in Gabe's ears. All right. I'm basically just making sure that everything looks nice and clean and there's no evidence that he could have an ear infection. Okay. All right. Gabe, can I touch your ear? Yeah, can I smell? Okay. What would you see if there was evidence of an ear infection? So it might look red okay. on the hairless portion of the ear. Which is not. <laughs> yeah. When I go in, he might be a little painful. And when I look in there, I might see a lot of debris or other signs of inflammation, but it's crystal clear in Good. there. All right. Good job, Gabe. I'll change my cone and I'll look at Gabe's other ear for completeness. Go ahead. All right. He's got a shiny coat, too. He does. He's like, not again. I know. He's like, you already looked. Okay. I'll switch sides with you. Yeah, okay. Perfect. <laughs> As you can throw all your weight on me. <laughs> Sometimes they get a little wiggly. Yes. That's okay. <laughs> he says, I already did this. Okay. All right. Perfect. So his ears look good. Okay. So I'll just reset here. Working down from his ears, I'm just running my hands all along his body, checking under his fur. As anybody with labs knows, they can be quite a dense coat. Mm -hmm. So I'm just checking to make sure he doesn't have any scabs, lumps, okay. bumps, any painful areas. And he feels nice and good. Running my hands down his legs. I flip up his paws. Mm -hmm. Nails his, are nicely trimmed. Yes. <laughs> Look at his nails. I check in between his toes. Okay. Just making sure his skin looks healthy. Good I think job, he looks buddy. perfect, he but is. I'm not the professional here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come forward, Gabe. All right. 
working my way back on his underside, feeling his belly, making sure it feels nice and soft, nothing uh -huh. peculiar. Okay, same with his back legs. Oh, okay. no. Oh. Good boy. There we go. Okay, very good. And now I'm going to listen to his chest, listen to his heart and lungs. Okay. So why did you stick it in front of his nose first? I just want to let him see what I was about to touch to his body. Okay. So most of the dogs by this stage in the game, they're very used to this. Right. But still, it could be a little cold, just mm -hmm. like the doctor might warm it up before mm -hmm. they touch you. Yeah. I just want to let him know, I'm going to touch your body with this. Don't be alarmed. So he's familiar with it. Yeah. And it's part of me. And Got he's it. okay with that. So his heart sounds nice. No murmurs, no arrhythmias. And so that also makes us feel confident that if the instructors choose, He's ready. Mm -hmm. Health-wise, we are confident in placing this dog. Awesome. Okay. okay. So he's class ready. Yes. Wonderful. All right. Well, thank you. You're welcome. And we're going to uh, chat with Eric from Milanko in just a minute, and he can talk about some of the pre preventatives that you then give the dogs. Sure. Perfect. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Now I did a little magic trick, and I have Eric here, <laughs> and Dr. Smith has stepped out. So we're going to talk about our preventatives. Yes. Uh, Eric is with Alonco, and Alonco provides all of the preventatives to all of our dogs at no cost. So first and foremost, thank you so much. Uh, no, no thanks necessary. We're proud to be uh, one of the partners that provides preventative care for these amazing dogs. Uh, parasite protection is the uh, premier uh, thing we provide, mm -hmm. and uh, heartworms, intestinal parasites, fleas, ticks are all over the country. Uh, these dogs are all over the country, uh, and frankly, they, they, they travel and their risk of exposure is higher than, yeah. than most dogs, yet the importance of protecting them and your families from parasites is key. Um, when I witness the passion and the hours and, and time and investment it takes to bring these amazing dogs up to uh, the level that they come to uh, to support people, um, mm -hmm. it makes total sense that we'd want them to have the best protection possible. They can live as long and healthy as, as, as possible. Okay, you do this for free for, for all of our graduates and their dogs and, and the dogs in training. Why and how did you make that happen? Well, uh, I have grown up in this industry. I work with and around veterinarians my whole life. Mm -hmm. um, I'm fortunate to work for a company that, that understands the human-animal bond and what it means to, to people regardless of what the dogs or cats do. Mm -hmm. um, and frankly, it, it, as I said before, it makes total sense. Uh, every dog deserves to have uh, the best in protection. Mm -hmm. uh, we're fortunate to provide amazing brands like Trifexis, Interceptor Plus, Credelio, Soresto. We have plenty of brands that meet the needs of veterinarians around the country. Um, and, and again, these dogs in particular, when, I, when you think about just how much goes into uh, mm -hmm. bringing them to the level of, of support they provide, um, I can't think of not providing it. So yeah. again, it's, you know, it's me bringing it to our leadership and, and explaining the, the need and the, and the impact, mm -hmm. and, and they're fully aligned. And so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm proud that a company uh, would stand behind this, this partnership. Impact is a good word. I like it's that amazing. one. And you briefly mentioned cats. So you've got things for dogs and cats. Yeah, sure. We, okay. Yeah, Lanco's got a long history since the 1950s uh, mm -hmm. of producing uh, products for, for better animal health. The pet <laughs> division is relatively new. I think he likes uh, cats. But we have innovation for dogs and cats, uh, treatment okay. products, vaccines, it, it, a variety of, of, of options. And, and again, uh, just selling pharmaceuticals, it's great. Mm -hmm. We provide solutions, but it's this extra Mm -hmm. um, that all of our employees uh, uh, embrace in, in their day-to-day -day is, is what matters. Uh, that bond that people have is, is growing, and uh, we want to be behind the, the health of these animals. I think he's telling you thank you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was just like be careful, yeah, like, be oh, careful. Oh, you yeah. might not find him later today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and also, um, 
You just visited a dog earlier, Elon, right? We did get to visit Elon. You, uh, Southeastern Guide Dogs was gracious enough to allow us to have a corporate naming sponsorship for one of their um, uh, amazing dogs. And yeah. uh, we were, uh, I got the pleasure of meeting Elon today. Oh, and exciting. That was, a, that was just wonderful and uh, it warms my heart. So I can't wait to share that with the Elanco uh, team and, and I look forward to future communication around that. Well, thank you, Eric. And Eric's been at all of our walkathons. So yep. we love to volunteer. To we love to watch team. people interact. So yeah, it's all it's all the best part of the job. Awesome. Well, thank you again. I think we better get Gabe down so he can <laughs> run around a little bit. So we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.